Welcome back, friends. Um, today we are going to be planting my tomato beds. I This is going to be really an overview of what I've done and planting those beds with the rest of the stuff. Now, a lot of this stuff has already been documented for the From the Farmyard channel, so if you're not subscribed there or you haven't seen the videos, go watch them. They're really good. I'm, I'm a little biased, maybe, but <laughs> that's fine. Over here on this side of my trellis, this front bed, and then I'll go over to the next one in a second, I have an okra, zinnias, squash, nasturtium, nasturtium, mm, no, it's squash, nasturtiums are in here somewhere, squash over there, nasturtium, zinnias, another zinnia, sunflower sunflower and green beans on this side over here and none of this stuff has come up it's only been planted for a day sunflower zinnias sunflower zucchini nasturtium zinnia nasturtium zucchini okra zinnia sunflower mexican sour gherkins so, that is really excited. I am, or exciting. I'm, it is really exciting, like I said. Um, and then in these, that I, the From the Farmyard channel, are tomatoes that I transplanted out. Those are yellow pear romas. That one is transplant shocking hard. It actually didn't have any roots, so I'm expecting it to die because the base came off. So I can't help with that. Um, it was hit with something before, I think a tennis ball or something. Um, Better Boys over there, Too Tasty, and then five Midnight Snacks right here. And then nothing's planted on that front row yet, but we're going to be doing that now. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing that now. Um, I'm going to be doing that with you guys because I do want to have some stuff on this channel as well. We're going to be having garden tours, and I'm trying to... We're trying to get more um, educational stuff on the other channel, and but I'm still going to be doing the stuff here that I usually do. Planting with you guys and everything. But I do have... I don't want to go over there. Okay. I'm going to go over on this side of my table. I would pause it, but I'm not. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my cooking show. We are here today to be talking to you about how to grow tomatoes so you can make a pizza or just eat them fresh. I cannot open this. There you go. You're going to see me drink. Whatever. My mouth is dry. But got to move some things. Sorry, y'all. Don't want to know what that was. Y'all are seeing behind the scenes here. I usually pause it, but we are going to be growing tomatoes, and actually none of the tomatoes are in this bag, I don't believe, that I'm planting. I'm not going to show you guys, like, the front part of this because it is an address from my great-grandmother's sister, my great-great-aunt, actually, and she is wonderful. You guys saw my unboxing from Burpee. You know what seeds are in here, should be in here, but that's not the point. We are, oh, these need to be in a bag. These are going to be, oh, I don't there is something in here. Okay, so what I'm going to be planting today are replacements for ones that died and just to fill in space. I do want to get these tomatoes in the ground. Like I said, I would like to have food as soon as possible. I am going to be planting ones that died and just to fill in any extra space because I didn't know how many tomatoes would fit. Now I have the spacing right. I do have other seeds in here. These seeds are all very, very old um, from my grandpa's wife. 2003. These are 20 years old. I am very excited to grow these. So these are older than I am. 
but I am excited to grow these as well. I need to find a good place. But the other things that are going to be going... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, that's not a good idea. The other things that I'm going to be growing are in my tomato beds is are going to be basil and marigolds. I forgot to mention that in the other video that I was doing, but basil is going to be in with the um, basil and marigolds are going to be in there with the tomatoes. Both beds are going to have them. They're going to be kind of the same, but not really. So I'm trying to get my other... Okay, those are going to be up front. Sorry, I am... forgot what I had, honestly. But these are the sun golds that I didn't get. I don't have the other sun gold packet. I do have it somewhere, I just don't know where, so I might need to run in in a minute. But basil is going to be in that, and the marigolds that I am using, I did mention this in the other video, and they probably are in here. Yeah, the marigolds that I'm going to be using are marigolds from my great-grandmother's, my, my great-great-grandmother's garden. She grew these. My great-great-aunt, my great-grandmother's sister, sent them to me. She had them at her house from seeds that she saved, and those are going to be in my garden this year. I actually lost these seeds for a time, and then I was cleaning something out and found them. I had stuck them with a piece of paper, like I'm famous for doing. Oh my God. I have so many seeds, it's not even funny. But, yeah, the zinnias are gonna, er, not the zinnias. The sunflower, not sunflowers either. The marigolds are gonna be in there because that's where I want them to go. Um, also, it'll probably be the only marigolds that I'm growing, at least for a short time, because I want to be the save seed so I have more of that stock available from her group of sunflowers. But that will be in the future. I do need to run inside really quick and get the sun gold tomatoes. I need to find them, so I'll be back in just a second. I'm back. Five minutes later, but I'm back. Um, my brother and sister are up too, so I had to, I'll talk to them for a second. Um, okay. These are the seeds that Bestie sent, the first seeds that she sent me, and these are getting planted. Um, I need to see the sunflower, because I might go ahead and throw those in one of my beds as well. Might as well open it. Might as well open it. Yep, so planning these. The teddy bears? That's what I thought they were. Thank you, bestie. You're seeing this. I don't know when this is going up. Probably today, but thank you. But I have the sun gold tomatoes right over here. Forgot which one. Oh, more seeds from Reagan. The coral zinnias. These actually need to go in that bag because I don't want to lose them. And then I have the sun golds, which the sun golds actually only have 30 seeds, and they were quite expensive, which is not a problem. It is a rare variety, you expect that, but that is fine. The coral zinnias are going in with the other ones that Reagan sent me. I do have more, I think. Pretty sure. But the sun golds, and these guys are going to go back into their little home in the bag that Barfy sent me. But, okay, sorry, I should have done all this before, but I didn't. Um, these are the tomatoes that I'm planting. Uh, Best Boy, Sun Gold, Midnight Snack, Yellow Pear, Too Tasty, and Roma. Ooh, I think Okay, the Too Tasty is the one that I messed up and spilt. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
No, that's not. I don't know. I messed up and spilled a whole bunch of seeds of something. So whatever seeds that I have right now is ones that I'm having to save. Um, or I'm going to buy more of next year just because I am probably going to be placing an order anyways with them. But let me... Let me do this. Oh, actually, I'll go ahead and read this note, too. I think there's a note in here. From my great grandmother. Marigold seeds. Um, I don't know. I have not opened them, so the note is not. But there is a note next to it. These guys are all going to go back. I think this was three Easter's ago that I got this, and I have not planted it. I oh, know this is something else. Um, apparently, I don't have the original letter, which is suspicious. Unless it's in here. They were four to five foot tall years ago. I'm, I cannot really read her writing, um, which is not her fault at all. She said, I'm sending some marigold seeds that came from Aunt. I don't, I cannot read that name. Her house and were about four and a half to five feet tall many years ago, but shrunk a little each year. They're orange and late in the summer. Orange. Better butterfly late in the sum late in the summer an orange butterfly the blooms and flew away. I think that's what it was. I don't know. Sorry. It was a little all over the place. But I couldn't really read the writing. My mom will read it when she gets home gets home. Let me let's go ahead and plant this stuff. We don't have very long. And I don't want to make a long video again. But we are also rushing for time because we have some things that I need to get done. It's okay. It's okay. My little Welsh. My little Welsh babies. It's just okay. They are starting to feather out and they look gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I need to give you guys some updated pictures. Let's start in the back. Start in the back. Ugh. It's so cold. It's chilly. Okay. Making sure you won't, aren't able to see address or anything. Of me. Actually, I might wait to do these marigolds for another day. I'm just going to get the tomatoes out of the way because I really am kind of cold. Um, I think everything's a little chilly right now. But that's fine. I'm going to wait to do these then. Um, what do I have back here? I have Better Boy and Chroma. Okay, so the Better Boys. Are right here, I'm only planting three more seeds. If they don't come up, I'll plant more. I'm not going to show you guys how to plant them. I have showed in the past. But... If I can open the seed packet. I don't want you guys flying out. I don't need that happening. Okay. The seeds are out and in my hand. I need to make sure not to drop them. Nope. This hot seeds. 
I do believe I need to buy more of those. I probably already have, actually, and I just don't know where they are. Sounds like me. Really does sound like me, though. But we are going to kind of rush through planting these because Zachary is chilly. Very chilly. Okay, um, spacing. Mm -hmm. Those are not a foot apart. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You don't want to go too deep, but you want to go deep enough and put on top soil that is not like heavy with like rocks or like a big piece of mulch. Things like that you want to avoid. Um, put away. I'm just making little indents, putting these seeds in, and then I'm covering them with soil that is not full. Don't know where I planted that one, but we're gonna go right here. If it comes up, I'll transplant it. That's the good part about these. Okay, actually, I need to put a clump. Okay, I'm gonna go get a stick few sticks and I'll bring you guys with me. I'm going to bring a few sticks so I can mark eight, um, individual varieties away from each other. But, ooh, and I'll show you my birdie hen too. Just while we're at it. Hawaii. She's sitting on a uh, gold laced wine dot and she's sitting on duck eggs. 11 of them to be exact. <laughs> a lot of duck eggs. But that's fine. They'll be finding new homes once they're born. I don't need any more, so that's what's gonna happen to them. One, two, three, and four. Four sticks. Four sticks. Hey, ducks are happy. What? I can't take you guys swimming right now. They wanna go swimming, I think. But I'm just gonna put them like this, and then we're good. And then on the other side, when I plant that, I will know that it needs to go one variety on one side, one variety on the other. And that's just, I'm gonna mark these this year because that is fine with me. Same thing with the other side. Oh, those sticks fit perfectly. Okay, sorry, I am in a good mood now. Pumped. This is garden season. I love it. Um, love gardening. I love growing. Oh my gosh. It's been so long. It's only been like three months. It's still it's been so long. Uh, oh, I actually do have yellow pear right there. Forget about that. Um, but let's do Roma. Roma. Roma tomatoes. I only need two more of these. I might actually plant three just in case. The other one doesn't survive, and then I can just come back out here later and where so if it doesn't live anyways, but it is what it is. These guys have a lot of seeds in them. I think it's because nobody likes them. That's why the people who do like them get more. Okay. Yes, they're all getting planted then. And that's fine. I'll do a few per hole. It is all good with me. I am in a good mood, y'all. I am sorry, but I am in a good mood. So, if anybody has any questions, I know we're not all alive, but still. If anybody has any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I will be more than happy to answer them, as always. And if you want to go check out anything else, that the links are, in, are down below to our podcast channel and everything else. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.